Hello, this is Elaine. You're listening to Think on This. Okay, so we're getting ready to start our study back up. We are in John chapter 1, and we are going to read verses 9 through 13. Ash, are you in John chapter 1 yet? Okay, I'll tell you what. Elaine, I'm going to let you read... um, I'm going to let you read the passage today, okay? It is, we're going to start in verse 9, and we're going to go to verse 13. So read this whole paragraph right here. The true light, which enlightens enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world. He was in the world. The world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He... He, oh, he came into his own, and his own people did not receive. But all to, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man, but of God. Okay, so let's break that down. The first part of verse 9, it says, The true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. So if there's a true light, Adeline, if there's a true light, what does that mean? Can there also be a bad light, a false light? Can there be? Yes. Okay, yes, you're right. So if there's a true light, there's a false light. What's the opposite of light? Dark. Very good. Very good. So who would be the dark light? Devil. The devil. That's right. The devil, before he became the devil, before before he fell from heaven, he was known as Lucifer, and he was an angel of light. But he fell... And the light he bears is false, and it draws people away from God instead of towards God. We should always, as we're growing in our Christian life, be drawn closer to God. We should be getting closer to God as we grow towards him. What, what's your question, Eli? You know, God brings back the light. That's right. We're actually talking about that, how the true light is coming into the world. And who is the true light? God. I who, who is it, Eli? God. Okay, more specifically, is it? Jesus. Very good, <laughs> very good. So, so the devil draws people away from God, um, and what he does, it has the opposite effect. It brings darkness on people. Well, Jesus is the true light, and anyone who receives the light of Jesus will no longer live in darkness. Now, this next part that Laney read, it says, he was in the world. This is talking about Jesus already being in the world. So Jesus, remember we talked a while back how Jesus always existed in John 1, 1. It says, in the beginning was the word. Jesus is the word. He was there with God. He was God and he was creating with God. So um, we see how Jesus it was there in the beginning, but then he came into the world as a man He came into the place that he made, the world that he created. Um, And when he came, he actually visited his creation, but the world did not recognize him. In fact, what did they do, Elaine? They didn't didn't accept him. They rejected him. Yeah, and what does reject mean, Addy? Push away. They pushed him away. They didn't want what he had to say. They didn't want what he had to offer. Very good, very good. So... Um, He came into the world and they rejected him. He even came to his own people, the people God had chosen, which was, do you know who that is, Elaine? No. What was the name of the country? Israel. Very good. It was Israel. He was rejected by the Jewish people, the people of Israel. They did not want his light. They wanted something else. They wanted something else. They wanted him to be their king. But he didn't come to take the kingdom just yet. He came to save people, to bring the light, and they rejected his light. Um, But it does say 
those who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So the people before Jesus came and brought his light, they were in darkness. Um, and the, but in order to become a Christian, you have to, um, you have to believe in Jesus. You I have to believe, believe in, in Jesus. Very good. You have to believe in Jesus in order to have the light. And the people in the Old Testament, they were looking forward to the light to come. I know. Now, shh, we, they were looking forward to the light to come. We look back at the light that has already came, but it's all the same light. Hey, Dad. What do you like? know? Who makes the darkness? A devil. Well, the devil is of the darkness. That's right. The dark darkness is the absence and, of light. So, and somebody brings light. You know, I know who make, brings light. God. That's right. Yeah. God brings light. I'm glad that you're getting this. I'm glad you're understanding it. So, but it says to all who uh, received him, believed in his name, he uh, gave them the right to become children of God. So those who received him as their savior, those who believed in him for who he really was, no longer belong to the family of darkness, but now belong to the family of God. They became children of light. When you get saved, when you accept Jesus as your savior, you are no longer children of darkness. You are now children of light. Jesus has changed you into a child of light. You are his forever. Remember, we looked back last week and we talked about how uh, the light shined in the darkness and the darkness could not overcome it. Once the light's there, the darkness can't push it away again. You understand? Okay. Yes, but so night once you, is darkness. Huh? Night is darkness. What is darkness? Night. That's and right. Daytime. This isn't talking about like physical light and physical darkness. This is talking about spiritual light and darkness, Addie. What Jesus does inside your heart. He changes you. He changes you. Like in the book of Daniel, it talks about King Nebuchadnezzar. Remember the bad, evil king that um, uh, had... Um, was going to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fiery it, furnace. Remember? Yeah. Well, one of the things God had uh, said... It, 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 like, it brings them back to life. Well, yeah. they didn't die, though, okay? But what ended up happening was Nebuchadnezzar had a hard heart, and then God softened his heart um, in the end of Daniel. Um, well, and that's what he does with us. He, he takes our hearts of stone and makes them hearts of flesh. He softens us and gives us new life. We're no longer spiritually dead, but now we're spiritually alive. So it says, who were born, not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. You know how you said you're talking about night and day, Addie? Well, this is talking about spiritual, um, spiritual life. It says, not born, of blood, not born of blood or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. That means this is God that's doing it, Elaine. You understand? This is what God's doing in your heart. It's not something you can do yourself. It's something he has to do within you. So, um... So Jesus is the true light, and he's the one that gives everyone light. He came to his own people, the people of Israel. They rejected him, so then he extends the offer beyond the people of Israel to people like us, Gentiles. He has given us the chance to, give the, to, to receive the light, and if we receive the light, we become children of God, and it's something that God starts within us. This is not physical birth. It's not talking about being born of the flesh, but born um, spiritually. You know, how, you know how you're born yeah. When you're well, this is talking about a rebirth. You are born again, only you're born spiritually into the family of God. So, um, it can only come from God. God is the only one who can make you born again. And that's what we're going to take from this lesson today in John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. Does anyone have any questions about what we just read? No. Addie, Me, what's your question? Uh, darkness and. Darkness is bad and, and light is good. Okay, is that a that question? That's my question. And Eli is scared of the dark and, and he's not afraid of the light. I need to tell Dad. Yeah, well, it's good that he likes the light and not the dark. I'm, Eli, what's your question? My question is... You're going to ask a question. You're not going to say something, right? Oh, uh, I am going to say something. Okay, go ahead and say it. I, you know God... You know, light and darkness comes from devil and the God. So God brings light and the devil tries to bring darkness. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you're understanding that. Lainey, what's your question? And this is the last question unless mommy has a question. Okay. Um, in, in hell, is there heat too? Well, it's, 
hell has fire in it, so there is going to be a heat that hurts people that are down there. So, but there's so much smoke from the fire that it's just complete darkness because you know smoke burns black, right? There's so much smoke in there you can't see. Um, that's um, as far as I, that's 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 the best I can come up if you're trying to ask about darkness. Okay, let's go ahead and pray, and then we're done for the day. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the gospel of John. We thank you that your son, Jesus, was the true light that came into this world to give us light so that we can have eternal life and that we can become children of God. Lord, I pray for each and every one of us that we would take all of this to heart, that we would live out your truth in our hearts and that we would love you and that we would be faithful to you in all things, Lord. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be born again. And I pray if anyone's listening to this right now and they haven't accepted you as Savior, I pray that they would do that. They would know your light and know how they could become children of God because of what you did on the cross and that you rose again so that we could have eternal life. I pray people would understand that and know that and believe that in their hearts and call on you to save them. And we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye. Amen.